So for today's video, I will be sharing with you guys my thoughts or my take between my iPhone 12 Pro Max or my Samsung A52s 5G phone. case on my iPhone so you guys will be able to see the phone well and I will just pray that I will not be clumsy at this time so I will not drop my two phones or else I'll die so maybe some of you guys are wondering why I have two phones I just want to share to you guys what's my main reason why I have two phones here with me or why am I using two phones and i'll tell you guys later but before that let's go on a quick info about this two phones so let's go first with the i oh oh my god did you guys hear that so let's go talk about first my iphone 12 pro max so i have the gold variant in the 256 um gig um internal storage it's still pretty good it's because i have been using case ever since because i'm the type of person that really uses case most especially i'm using the otter box case which has the pop socket and also um what do you call this shock resistant or shock proof well in case i will be clumsy in specific times which i am really a clumsy person so anyways let's go back here so this is my um samsung oh my god the fingerprint i'll just wipe it later so this is the samsung a52s 5g so i personally chose this black one because it looks good because of its matte finish and of course it somehow looked like to s20 is it s20 or something in the s series of the samsung i'm not sure my iphone 12 pro max in year 2022 um price ranges from 65k to 71k peso but this one is um 23k or 23,000. so let's go on to the comparison between the two phones let me go back here the comparison between the two phones on my left we have here the iphone 12 pro max and on the right we have here the samsung a52s 5g so both phones offers 5g connectivity which i really love because i'm living in bulacan and i'm using smart service provider for phone and 5g is working here and i'm really happy about it though i don't really use it much because i'm using um wi-fi connection here at home The iPhone 12 Pro Max has a 60 hertz refresh rate, while on the other hand, Samsung A52 S 5G has 120 hertz refresh rate. So now let's talk about the customizability. So let's go first on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. So as you guys can see, I was not able to really install themes here. It's because we all know iOS doesn't offer that kind of um, option so but they already make sure that each icon does really look appealing and look minimalistic to everyone that's why i don't really need to install any other themes here nor um change the different um icon picture for different apps so i only install widgets which i really really love since the update last year or last last year and i'm really happy about it so i was able to use different kinds of um, widgets here um, by the iphone like the calendar um, the weather the calendar again the calendar too and of course here the pinterest um what do you call this here the pinterest photo album so if you guys want um, to know more on how I customize my iPhone 12 Pro Max, just let me know in the comment section below and I will be happy to share. Sorry. And I will be happy to share it with you guys. So on the other hand, let's go now on my Samsung 
A52S 5G. So as you guys can see, this is my homepage. So it also offers the widgets, which I really love on both phones. But um, Android phones will give us more options to really change um, how our phone will totally look like. Given the fact that it will allow us to change our Themes. Um, I really love to spend so much time, so many time looking for the perfect theme that really suits my mood. So as you guys can see, um, I have here installed different kind of um, themes and um, icons which I really love and I got from the Galaxy store. So there are some themes that you need to purchase like this one. So I purchased this one. So I'm using the please grant my wish, but I'm just using a different icon which is the lovely fresh color which I got I think for free. So yeah, that's it. So I was also able to install um the the calendar or I mean, I also have here the widget for the calendar and I only have one page because I'm trying to be minimalistic here because as you guys can see, I have so many apps in here. So I just like to compile them and um, organize them in different folders. So we already tackled about the refresh rate on how to customize your phone. But now let's go on the picture in picture or the split screen. So what do you guys think? This iPhone 12 offers the picture in picture and the split screen or the Samsung also offers the picture in picture and split screen. Just let me know in the comment section below. And to answer your question guys, yes, iPhone offers the picture in picture feature. But however, However, on the other hand, it only works on selected applications. Just like I think in video streaming applications like Facebook, I, I mean like Netflix, um, YouTube, but I think it does work as well on Facebook if I'm not mistaken. But correct me if I'm... But it doesn't offer the split screen. I'm not sure why. Or... I mean, it really does offer the split screen, but you need to install another third party application for the split screen to work on your iphone or on your ios devices so let's go on now and jump on the samsung a52s 5g and to answer your question as well for this one yes the picture in picture works as well here on the samsung a52s 5g and yes the split screen works perfectly fine here as well so the picture in picture doesn't really has the same name on ios devices or on this one but it has the name pop up view so unlike the iphone which um only works i mean just um unlike the iphone which only video streaming application works here you guys will be able to use the pop of view or the picture in picture so i think pop of view is the name for ios devices um here so all you need to do to open the picture in picture is to open two apps and click on the um app icon above just like that one and open up in pop up View. So this is the pop up view or the picture in picture on the Samsung devices. And for the split screen, it's also the same. So you need to, um, I don't know how you guys really say this one, but you need to do that and click as well on the icon and click and choose, click or choose the open and split screen view so we have it here so you guys can do watch youtube and um um read emails whatever you guys want to do so that's how picture in picture um and split screen works on the samsung phone so regarding the camera so as you guys probably know the iphone 12 pro max also offers the portrait view we also have here um the the panorama and the wide lens yes the wide lens just like that one the video and the slow-mo and 
the time lapse. I think you guys are probably familiar with that. And let's go on and focus on the Samsung because it really does have a feature that I really want to explain and I really, really love. So just like the iPhone, it also has the photo, the wide lens, it has the video and you guys can record video up to 4K. So we have here the 4K as well and it, you guys can have the doodle which i haven't tried but i think you guys can um what do you call this <laughs> doodle anything on your face while you guys are having picture let's go on and um try some cat hey so just like this one and it really moves so it has the um what do you call this it has the AR? I think this is under... Yeah, AR Doodle. So, augmented reality wherein the, your Doodle really goes well with your face. So, it also has... I mean, it also has the panorama and the night mode, which iPhone really does have. And the portrait, the pro video, the slow-mo, and the super slow-mo. I want to introduce you guys to this cool new feature. So this is the single take. So from the name itself, single take, allow you guys to record a video, but it will does really capture frame by frame. So let's go on and try this one. So this is very perfect for you guys who really wants to have a mini photo shoot. Yes, so it recorded eight. Also, apply film. Also, produce guys a video. And I really love the camera as well. So yeah, so that is the single take feature on the Samsung A on the Sam on my Samsung Galaxy A52 S 5G. But I think it's also available on different phones of Samsung. I'm not yet sure. I'm not really sure. So disclaimer: I'm not really sure about any other phones. But I think um, all Samsung phones offers um, that one. I think I already. Um, phone for live streaming which was my past work for for like five years but since I actually have now my professional work I have decided to stop streaming for a while and just focus on different stuff so that's the reason why I have my iPhone 12 Pro Max but I bought this um, Samsung A52 S 5G phone for my work and now this is my personal phone which I wasn't really able to use that much anymore because I'm more into my Samsung A52 um, phone ever since I bought this one. Yeah, so it has the One UI 3.1 and the Android 11 version. Though I saw many videos online that um, Samsung um, already have this the Android 12 and I'm really looking forward for it because the One UI 4 on the Android um, 12 version is really good. I also installed here the apps that I also have here. So the social media applications, different kind of games. They both offer good um, quality when it comes to, to those applications. But I more prefer on using this one for recording videos because when I'm using mixer or sound card, the sound quality or the audio quality is way 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 more better on my iPhone 12 I don't really I don't I'm I don't really know the reason behind that but that's what I also discovered way back then when I was doing live streaming though so that's why I am using my iPhone for live streaming so I also use this phone I mean both of this phone for mobile games and I'm really happy with um with 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 its quality and i didn't experience any overheating issues for both phone and um any lagging issues but on the other hand i just wanna give um up vote to my samsung a52 s5g because it offers 
um, two speakers. So one on the above. So here and on the bottom, which I really, really love whenever I'm playing or watching um, movies or Netflix while I'm on bed or while I'm using my phone like this because I was able, because I, I am still able to really hear um, those those sounds clearly but on the other hand iPhone only does have speakers on the bottom part and whenever you guys use your phone for gaming it doesn't really sound too well and yeah that's only my opinion and also I want to go up vote 2 so that's 2 for the Samsung because it still offers the 3.5 millimeter jack which I really love that's my opinion regarding the two phones. So what are your thoughts about this guys? Just let me know in the comment section below. And I hope that you guys were somehow able to get some information or I was able to boodle. I don't really know the exact name of boodle for... I mean, I don't really know what's the exact um, English term for boodle but we mostly use boodle word in the philippines if we were able to oh yeah convince if we were able to convince you guys to buy that phone that phone that thing based on our telltale or something like that so i'm really happy that i was able to share with you guys my opinion um between the iphone 12 pro max and my samsung a52s 5g so this is andras and i hope you guys did enjoy this video so thank you so much guys and i'll see you guys next time keep safe and bye bye